Owning a house right now is unaffordable, and I've talked about this multiple times. And now we're starting to see individuals start to say, listen, there is a hidden cost to owning a home, and I'm here to talk about it, guys. You need to watch this video, especially if you are looking to purchase a home or individuals who are currently in a home. I want you to comment on this video because this is so important. My name is Orlando. Welcome to the channel, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. Make sure you check out the description and the pinned comment. I have a newsletter. In that newsletter, I will give you tremendous value. And if you sign up today, you will get a step-by-step -step guide on how to claim your NAR settlement payment, guys. You cannot beat it. It's free. You cannot be free. <laughs> But let's jump into this, guys. The hidden costs of ownership are skyrocketing, guys. And I've talked about this over and over and over and over to let you guys know that maintenance on these homes, anything doing with home services, let it be put it in a new floor, your HVAC system, all of these things have gone up tremendously. And not only that, taxes and insurance, all of these things people seem to forget. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, the government won't forget, your insurance company won't forget, you won't forget too when you have no AC, no heat, because you didn't keep up on the maintenance. Rising insurance premiums, property taxes, and maintenance costs show little sign of abating. And that is true. I have said it over and over and over again, I don't see this stuff going down. Darren has owned a four bed home near a golf course in Louisville, Kentucky since 2004. He and his wife, Lori, paid off their primary mortgage in 2021. Now, this is a picture of the lovely couple that we're talking about here. That hasn't stopped other bills associated with home ownership from piling up. Their home insurance cost has risen 63% in the last two years. Their property taxes, utility costs, and homeowners association fees have risen in recent years too. I was so sticker shocked. The mounting home cost increase I fear they're here to stay. And Darren, I'm here to tell you, they are here to stay. I don't see property taxes, property insurance, all of those things going down. I don't. Maybe you might see services come down when material costs and things like that come down. And maybe you might see a slight tick and those prices in home services come down. But for them to drop how much they've come up, I don't see that happening. <laughs> I just don't see that happening. It, it's just the way it is. But this is something that I've been trying to let everybody know that these costs, these costs, most people just think to themselves, oh, okay, listen, all I gotta do is just pay this mortgage and I'm home free. I don't have to worry about anything else. Nothing else is gonna change. But here's the funny thing about that. If you bought a home two to three years ago, two to three years ago, you, you thought you were home free. You were like, oh, oh, I got a $1,500 payment and I'm good for the next 30 years. That, that's gonna be my payment. What have you seen? Go check your mortgage statement now from two, three years ago. And I can almost guarantee you, almost guarantee you, it has went up. This is the reality. This is, this is the real thing going on. This is, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, don't, I don't need all the jazz. I've been trying to let everybody know this about insurance. Nobody seems to believe me. <laughs> I get all these detractors. I know some of you guys are like, yep, Orlando, you're talking the truth. But there's a lot of people that are saying, I don't know what this guy's talking about. My insurance costs will never go up. And I'm just like, uh, where are you? Where are you living? Is this an alternate universe? Because even me, personally, my insurance has went up and I've told you guys, I, I've, I've bailed. I'm, I'm not gonna be with this insurance company. I will find a cheaper insurance. I will not sit here and be loyal to a company just because I've been with them for a couple of years or five years or whatever it may be. I have no loyalty. I'm telling you right now, I have no loyalty. <laughs> I will find the, the same coverage for a cheaper price with the same grade insurance and, and leave. No problem, because they will do the same thing to you. That's right, I said it. Property taxes and home maintenance costs are climbing in much of the country. Non-mortgage costs, including property taxes, maintenance, utilities, and insurance make up more than half of home ownership's overall costs. Now, this is what a lot of individuals are talking about this hidden cost portion. The hidden portion is that no one really tells you about this. Like, you will buy a home, your real estate agent won't say anything about it, and, and then you just get into the home and voila, you have all of these things. I have talked to so many homeowners. Home owners who decide this is it for me the, the the amount of maintenance that i have to do on this house it's it's insane i have to keep up on the hvac i have to do this i have to do that i have to do it's just too much too much money coming out of their pocket and in their mind they're thinking would that be better just renting i'm just saying 
Now, I'm not saying that's the best thing for you. I'm saying that some people have decided that owning a home it just isn't for me. And the reason why is because I spend more money than I'm willing to spend. I don't like keep up and on maintenance. I don't like having insurance go up and up and up on me. I don't like my property taxes continuing to rise. Th that's just some people. I'm not saying, again, I just wanna be clear. I'm not saying that you shouldn't try to purchase a home. I'm not saying that you shouldn't get a home. What I'm saying is, is you should understand the costs that come along with a home. And this quote unquote hidden cost, I'm laying it out in front of you. It's not hidden. A lot of people do not talk about maintenance. That's just what it is. No one says to you, hey, you know that, um, that, 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 that AC that you got outside your house, you're gonna have to maintain that. <music> Nobody says that to you. Nobody says, hey, um, you, you, you know that water heater? You're gonna have to maintain that. Nobody says it. Oh, that roof that you got? Three, four, a thousand, two thousand dollars. It could rack up on you really fast. And I know some people are gonna be like, Orlando, of course, who didn't know that there was maintenance involved when it comes to owning a home? And I would say a lot of people. Now, for our investors, for guys like myself who invest in multifamily and commercial and all that other, like we understand the maintenance game, right? It is, it's part of it. Of course, you're gonna have that associated with the house that you live in. But a lot of people aren't investors. A lot of people don't understand that. They just think that I'm gonna purchase this home and my mortgage is the only thing that I'm gonna have to take care of. This is bullshit. Now imagine having to deal with maintenance and all this other things with a high interest rate, with a 8%. That's where we are, 8% right now that you're gonna have to pay on a mortgage. Do, do, do you wanna deal with that? Do you wanna deal with that? Cause I get a lot of people who are coming to me saying, Orlando, listen, um, on my property, I need to, I need to figure a way out of this. I, I bought, I did an adjustable rate and I need a fixed rate. And, and I'm like, well, I'm thinking to myself, well, why did you get that adjustable rate to begin with? <laughs> you know, and I just, I mean, uh, hey, <laughs> but a lot of people are coming to me saying, Orlando, I need to figure something out. I need to do X, Y, Z. Now, shameless pug, if you need a commercial mortgage, you need your, your property refinance, you need to purchase a property, you're trying to purchase a business or anything like that, I do financing, guys, and go into my description. I will easily help you get financing on investment properties, in office buildings, anything commercial investment-wise that deals with real estate, I will help you. Please go in my description, send me an email. I respond back to you personally. Skipping repairs. Plenty of homeowners are having to stretch financially to meet these home related expenses. Nearly one in five said that they couldn't afford a $500 emergency repair without going into credit card debt. According to a February online survey of a thousand homeowners by tech company, Clever Real Estate, while 42% said that they've skipped home repairs or maintenance because of costs. I know, I know. You can afford what you can afford. But I need my HVAC guys, my handyman guys, guys who deal with water heaters, all this type of stuff. I need you to tell me, put in the comic section, what happens when someone decides, you know what, I'm not gonna maintain these things. I'm just gonna let them run endlessly without any repair, without maintenance, without changing filters. Tell me what happens to that, to that $5,000, $10,000 equipment on your home. When you decide not to clean out the grass on your AC system, when you decide not to do any maintenance on anything and you're just gonna just let it, just let it slide. What happens guys? Tell, tell me what happens. <laughs> I can tell you right now, it won't be good. It won't be pretty. You will be spending tens of thousands of dollars replacing these items. What did he say? <laughs> And at the end of the day, you will find out that it was never worth it to avoid the maintenance to save a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars on whatever it you needed to do to maintain that equipment. It won't be worth it because you will spend again tens of thousands of dollars replacing the system. And if you do the same thing that you did with the previous system, which is avoid maintenance, you will be right back in that boiling water. It, it, it's not it's not good. And then we have another gentleman here, David. It, it says here, his father's social security income was $1,043 a month when he died in 2023. The property taxes on his father's Boulder, Colorado home was about $5,400 a year and his insurance costs had more than doubled, more than doubled doubled guys between 2020 and 2023 to almost $7,000. Again, I have said this over and over again. I, and I know some, some of you guys are like, oh, Lando. But look, I'm showing you the evidence. These are real people, real people 
telling you, look, insurance has doubled. In some instances, it's tripled. And I'm telling you guys, this is real things happening. And then it shows here, all of this escalating costs are going to be an unpleasant shock for many homeowners. This is not on their radar as a worry, he said. It's sort of a hidden cost. You hear that? He he doesn't, he can't afford that. He said, listen, I I, I my, my my dad passed away. I have, I inherited his property and now it's unaffordable for me. I can't make these payments. And what do individuals that have that are in this situation end up have to doing? They end up having to sell the property. They end up having to sell a property that maybe their parent didn't want to sell. Maybe that parent wanted to keep it in the family. But if you can't afford to keep it because of escalating cost, quote unquote, hidden cost, then you have to do what you have to do. And that's what happens in a lot of these cases. A lot of individuals decide, even if they have no mortgage, no matter if they have no mortgage, or they could afford, or they could have afforded it two to three years ago, today they cannot afford it. And this is what I'm trying to explain. The point of this video is just, is really easy. You have to understand what you're getting yourself into. Again, I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy a home. I'm not saying that at all. I am a big component of purchasing a home to actually have that asset. I am but you have to know what you're getting into. You have to know that the cost, that mortgage that you have, is a cost that will continue to go up and up and up. It's not a cost that's gonna be at $1,500. It's just not that mortgage. It's going to be the mortgage, insurance, and taxes, and then the maintenance added on to it, guys. So I just want you to see the big picture here. I know everybody is trying to, to tell you, oh, you better jump into the market right now because if you don't jump, you're gonna miss the biggest wealth creation in history. But we're starting to see a lot of things change. And of course, you can come here on this channel and I will be reporting on it. So as always, guys, I hope you got value out of this content. And I need you to watch this next video, okay? This next video here, yes. This video right here, it will give you tons of value. It will give you information on the housing market, financial news, get into your first rental property. And guys, the information you will get from it, it will be gold. Okay, see ya. See you in the next one. Thanks. <laughs>